State Park. Had a great time here. Really beautiful rock formations, as you can see off to the left. Going to make a quick stop at Walmart, and then we're heading for City of Rocks State Park, which is about an hour north of where we are now. So that should be pretty cool. I ended up in a handicap site here because that was all that was available when I made my reservation. But it looked like there were a few open sites when I pulled in. Since it was time for the office to close by the time I pulled into my site, I didn't bother trying to switch at that point. It was pretty nice. The whole pad was uh, nice wide concrete and uh, beautiful uh, shade cover and picnic table. Really cool. Spring Canyon State Park, turn off here to the left, is a day use area only. It looks like that has some good hiking as well. But uh, I tried to do a little bit of the hiking around where I was camped. <clears throat> it's got a really couple of really cool trails, but they're uh, pretty steep and rocky, so I only hiked for about a half an hour before I decided I didn't want to put too much stress on my bum knee, which I think is going to be the story of my life until I get it fixed. And I'm trying to hold off on having surgery until my birthday in March because I will be eligible for Medicare, which makes the whole thing much less expensive. All right, we're about one and three quarter miles out from the City of Rocks. And apparently there is also the Baywood Hot Springs heading along this way. So we've got these uh, mountains straight ahead of us. And then we're going to come around the corner and see the City of Rocks. Really cool. Ah, pay station. We don't need to pay. We already paid. Go to the unpaved road. if I need to check in or not. I'm guessing not. Oh, I guess I do. A valid permit must be displayed at all times. Good morning, y'all. I had a great night's sleep. I want to take you out and show you the beautiful views here. I woke up to an amazing sunrise. Hmm. Door doesn't want to shut. All right, let's take a walk over here so I can turn around. Look at this. Really, really cool. People out walking in the rocks already. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. I can't do a full spin or I'll put uh, the actual sun, which is right behind my RV. Yeah, now I can't see it all, but pretty spectacular. And I'm actually sharing a space with the lady behind me because my space that I paid for is behind me right there. And it was so steep, I couldn't find any way to get level at all. Actually, I'm still not level, but that one was even worse. So, good enough.
So here we are at the City of Rocks Desert Botanical Garden. Let's go take a look. So they've got this area here that's all rocked off, marked off with rocks. Oh, and it actually does go out into the desert. Got some placards and stuff, so let's see what we got. Looks like a dead tree right there. Claret Cup Cactus. Never heard of that one before. Mesquite. We all know what that's good for. Makes great barbecue. These are Tori Yuccas. They look uh, a little rough. Oh, this is a cool looking one. It's this guy. Oh, so tall. Uh, where else did I see that originally? I think that was in Seminole Canyon State Park when I did their nature trail. Akatillo, that one looks dead. Actually, all of these look dead. Huh. All right, hang on a second. Now I've got a stone in my shell. Let's go back up here and walk through the rocks instead. Because the rocks are pretty daggone interesting. And I want to make sure you get to see some of those. When I first moved out west several decades ago, I really thought that uh, the desert was basically just sand. They say it's okay to just walk into the rocks, so that's what I'm going to do. This is pretty cool. Another campsite over there. Check out all these rock formations. All right, let's see if we can get close without getting a bunch of stickers. I hear voices. Interesting. Huh, this would be a cool campsite. I think you could almost get level here. So a couple of problems here at City of Rocks. One is that most of the campsites are pretty unlevel. And the other one is that uh, there's basically no cell signal. hard to get into in anything bigger than a van, I think. Interesting. Really cool rock formation, so. Alright, let's get out of here. So I came to City of Rocks specifically to come to Deborah Dickinson's um, Coco meetup in uh, November of 2021. And here we've got Jana on the right frugal, frugal RV gal describing the cast iron cook-off contest rules and regulations. Um, kind of interesting, that's uh, Shalom on the Rhone, that, that's Donna standing up in the green shirt over there. Several other YouTubers were there, so pretty interesting to see uh, this group of people together. Met some cool friends and uh, had a pretty good time overall. 
And even better, my friend from Lake Hallman came and hung out with me for a couple of days too. So despite the lack of signal and despite the unevenness, I'm actually going back again this year uh, for Coco Fest 2022. And from Deborah's perspective, Coco means keep on keeping on. I'll put a link to her channel down below. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and always remember to sally forth, live your best life, go out and adventure in whatever way works for you.